You're watching Nerdosity. Merry Christmas, Nerdians. It's that time of year again, so let's celebrate it with some video games. You know me, I love video games and Christmas, so it's super fun when the developers do as well. But not just any snow slapped into the graphics will cut it. So here is my top 10 list for the best video game Christmas events and campaigns. Beware minor spoilers for the following. Number 10, Pokemon. Pokemon and its developers have done a lot for its fans, including keeping Ash 10 for over 20 years. But some of the coolest stuff is when they incorporate real life events into the game. Specifically Pokemon Go, Pikachu gets a Santa hat, and you can catch special Pokemon during the season. In certain generation games, you could also receive a special Pokemon from the New York Trade Center. Pretty cool, right? But not as cool as the rest of our list, like number nine, Undertale. Considering a lot of the game is played in a town called Snowden, the little game bringing out the best of us shows that monsters might not be so different in the fact that they celebrate Christmas too. Although it is a little different, considering that the humans tortured a monster by putting ornaments on its reindeer antlers. They used to give gifts to the reindeer just to make them feel better. And now it just became a tradition where they would decorate a tree and then give gifts. So that's how their Christmas came to be. But how do we know that? From the Christmas tree in the plaza with a bunch of gifts around it and a monster that tells us the whole story. Not only is this game a tear drinker, it's also monster friendly. Number eight, Sims 4. The Sims have given us a lot of things, such as a way to torture miniature people, feel the success of owning a house and raising a family, and laundry, yes. A whole DLC made just for laundry. But along with this, it's given us many ways to celebrate holidays and events, including Christmas, which is called Winterfest in-game. So don your ugly PJs and wait for Santa in this hyper-realistic game that brings out the god complex in anyone. Number 7. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales Following the immense success of its successor, this sequel came swinging in with high hopes and left with many accolades, but you have to hand it to them for creating the first bit of a game about Christmas. Not only do they do it well, but it's not corny. Miles gets a present from Pete, his family celebrates a holiday with a couple of friends, and Rhino is beat to a pulp before he's able to completely tear up the town. Not to mention J. Jonah Jameson's cameo as Santa, pure gold. He's a menace! Uh, too soft. He's a low energy menace. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak minded. Oh! Hey, Jonah, looking good. Very fast. Menace! A feckless, treacherous, unhinged menace! Claws is holed up under a protective shield, gaining strength. At midnight, he'll be unstoppable. Number six, Saints Row Reelected. This game was a lot of things, but sane it was not. From being simulations in a video game made by a power-hungry alien to a death game created by a very questionable cat doctor, this game screams crazy. It's like if Deadpool got to make a video game. I mean, you get to ride a dinosaur into battle at one point, but one of their DLC revolves around a Christmas special. And instead of just bringing gifts to the good little boys and girls, you also get to kill a deranged Santa Claus hellbent on destroying Christmas. Plus you learn that murder is not the way to the nice list, so yeah classic saints. I just want to be clear. You can't murder your way onto the nice list. Number five, choices, bloodbound, dark solstice. The Saints weren't the only ones that got to fight a deranged Santa, but instead of going in guns a-blazing, this mobile visual novel lets you choose paths to save your vampire friends from an evil Santa called Red Saint, hellbent on revenge and blood. It's pretty riveting and scary and awesome. Plus, Ebenezer Scrooge is a vampire. Go figure. Number four, Borderlands 2. This is another game on our list that isn't quite sane and has you fighting some evil Christmas characters. But the reason why it's so high on the list is because Borderlands is my favorite game. They changed it to Mercenary Day so it fits the narrative. And our favorite good guy to hate, Marcus, gets a little bit of redemption by saving the day for the residents of Gingertown. Number three, Overwatch. 
This famous and beloved multiplayer shooter game decides that, what it lacks in campaigns, it will bring back tenfold with events, skins, and fun arcade games. Overwatch brings us every year some new skins for this Christmas holiday and also gives us fun games to play based on the winter season, like May snowball fights and hunting yetis. This year, Zenyatta gets a redemption from the Nutcracker skin with a Toybot skin, and May looks exactly like Al the Chicken Man from Toy Story. But hey, at least we get a new arcade game that kind of plays exactly like Freeze Tag. And not to mention that Roadhog looks boss in his Frosty the Snowman skin. Number two, Animal Crossing. If you're like me, this fun animal game saved you from a lot of depression during the quarantine. And since this game is based during real life time, you can expect to see holidays and other events pop up. Christmas within Animal Crossing is called Toy Day and lands on December 24th to be inclusive to all players. And you get to gift your villagers with gifts and love. Also, you get to meet Santa's little helper, Jingle, their black-nosed reindeer. And he lets you bring gifts to your residents through the power of Santa Claus and a magic gift bag. So get ready for those DIYs and other things that you can get from this cute little reindeer. Absolute perfection. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. My number one pick, which is Hitman. Come on, hunting two bad guys trying to steal presents on Christmas with names resembling the Home Alone thieves hits just right. Not to mention you can deliver this sweet, sweet justice with 47 dressed as Santa. Plus, if you're lucky, you can see old Santa Claus himself. Nothing quite says Christmas like killing a deranged Santa Claus, am I right? And not only that, but you also get to make sentient sassy snowboys and partake in snowball death matches. It's so much fun. Even though the meaning of Christmas is a little lost in some of these games, at least I know how to bring some fun into it all. So that was my top 10 list of the best video game Christmas events and campaigns. Did you agree with my list or do you think I missed one? Comment below and tell me what you think. Also, make sure you like and subscribe so I can keep on making more videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. You've been watching Nerdosity and I will see you next time.